hello guys welcome back to the channel so if you know me and you watch my deals videos you know that i'm a defender of the high star aurora not because it's good and flawless but because it's cheap okay, i'm putting my money where my mouth is and i ordered the Good packaging. The, even a quick teaser because the box is pretty cool. The iStar Geo. So this is the 99 gram version. Eh, let's see if it's really the 99 gram version on the table. But before that, uh, mine is the, yes, it's the silver version. It's not the Red Dragon version because I really wanted the lighter spool and i want to check if it's just a upgrade on the aurora air or if it's something really better or if mine for the first time on a channel it's flaw 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 it's food in portuguese either way i'm very eager to test this and to uh, tell you everything about it while i pick it apart on the table i'll see you guys in a bit so now on the table you can check that actually the box is pretty cool even though it doesn't have a lot of information on it i'll just quickly grab my aurora air it has been a good reel for me and show you a little bit around the box you see that in here it says swing for possibility maybe the possibility that this reel it's not flooded like most i will not say most but some of the other aurora air reels so inside of the box you will have your silver i would say gun silver and orange reel uh, cutout foam which is actually pretty cool and nice quality foam and the explorer diagram and the instruction so not too many things on the box if you grab the bag with the reel and take the reel out of the bag you will have either a pleasant or unpleasant surprise again quality control it's not the best on this family of reels but until now mine feels a little bit flawless so cannot complain as my original aurora air as you can see it's basically the same everything looks the same except the knobs and supposedly the spool goes from 4.4 grams to 3.2 grams so 1.2 grams of weight reduction on the spool also features one less ball bearing than the original aurora air so it goes from a 6 plus 1 configuration for a 5 plus 1 configuration and now you can see the rest of the specs on this table so from the geo 99 and the geo ear of the dragon the difference is the weight and the weight of the spool both of them get the 75 centimeter uh, line retrieve the 5 plus 1 ball bearings as i told before the 8.1 to 1 gear ratio and the 4 kilos of drag line capacity it's also the same for both of them as you can see side by side it's still the same only different colors i actually like more the geo approach it looks a little bit more slick i don't like the black accents on the aurora air but now for the weighing oops 103 grams so on the actual aliexpress site it says 99 uh, plus or minus two grams uh, mine is overweight for around four grams so no other way to spin it's heavier than it should like myself as you can see my old aurora air is just one point grams overweight but it has line in it so even if you consider like one and a half grams for line which maybe it's even more than that it's underweight i think when i weighted my was like 114 or 113 grams maybe it's the grease maybe it's something else maybe they lied i don't know but it's a lot heavier than it should so <laughs> three something percent heavier than it should but now just for comparisons to see if everything will fit together from one to the other i will just be taking the spool from the normal aurora air and put it on the geo the other spool is going away but i just pick it again as you can see braking system it's still the same i will just weigh the spool to see if they lie there also so 3.3 to 
uh, grams. I would not say that they are lying in there, maybe just a little bit over greased. And also my scale is from AliExpress and costs like under $2, so no reliability there whatsoever. But heavier weights, it's pretty accurate, so it's still overweight. And now I'm just seeing if everything retrofits uh, as it should. So if you have boat reels, that maybe probably most of you guys will have. Uh, everything will retrofit, even the side plates, as you can see, side plates and spools. So if you want a lighter spool and you really have a good Aurora airframe, you can do it. And now I'll just weigh it. So as you can see, my old air with a new spool, it's 111 grams. So if you take the ball bearing that they took out and probably stuck in a lighter bushing and you make some heavier porting where you had porting before and you thin plastic uh, composite where you can, you will have your 10 grams. It's actually easier than I would have thought the 10 grams that they took out. I think it would be a little bit more extreme. So even with the knobs, uh, you will probably save something. And now I'm just testing for fit and finish. Not a lot of play, I would say, on this reel. Uh, I would say that it feels less geary than my iStar Aurora Air. Sound check time. So the clicking sound for the drag star adjustment, it's actually pretty cool. The drag sound itself, if you have a very, very loose uh, drag, it sounds like trash. The other one, it's just loud. I would not say it's bad because every time you go this loud, it will sound not that good. Uh, the, more, the, the more tight you have it, the actually uh, better it will sound. The spool adjustment knob doesn't have any sound. Uh, makes sense, it saves weight, uh, but overall it feels pretty fine. You, you don't hear any clunkiness or any gearness. So I would say right now, out of the box, this is uh, actually a pleasant surprise from iStar. No flex whatsoever. It's a lot tighter than my iStar Aurora and my Star Aurora was a pretty good deal for the money. So. Two thumbs up for this guy. And now just a teaser of me catching Let's something die. with this reel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you really like it. And if you want to become a member, just click below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.